Hallelujah. Glory to God. My dear brothers and sisters, I have yet another quick, powerful word for you. Remember that the word of God is active. And it's going to make you well. Scripture says that he sent forth his word and delivered them. It healed them. It delivered them from their affliction. So God's word is powerful. Very powerful. Distance is not a barrier. If you can believe in the word, then God will make you well. No matter what your enemies are planning, no matter who has waged war against you, as long as God is for you, if God is for you, who can be against you? It doesn't matter how uh, well uh, equipped that person is. It doesn't matter how, what position that person has taken up. But if God is for you, who can be against you? Who can stand against you? There is no one for sure. You have a God that is fighting for you. You have a God that cares about you. A God that loves you. That the scripture says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever would believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. If you believe in God, you are not going to perish but you are going to have this everlasting life. This is a promise that God has given you that if you believe in him, that no matter what your enemies have done no matter what tricks they have done in the dark they are not going to work brothers and sisters this word today is they continue rewarding you evil for good they are people who hate you even when you have been good to them they hate you they are always trying to fight you some of you, you are good people. You are a good woman of God. You are a good man of God. But people, instead of rewarding you with good, they will reward you with evil. And you are wondering, you have tried your best to help out that person. You have tried your best even to pray for them. But they keep hating you. They keep gossiping about you. They keep speaking negative words. They have hurt you. Both with their actions and with their words. But I want to encourage you. That God will fight for you. No matter what your enemy has done. God will give you the best reward. Do not expect rewards of people. Do not expect their rewards. Expect the reward from God. Do not act, expect people's approval. Let God approve of you. Not men. Not the world. Let God say, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. And he will ride you with many. Brothers and sisters, I want to read to you a scripture that is in the book of Psalms, chapter 35. Verse 12 to 15. Psalms chapter 35, verse 12 to 15. And it reads, They reward me evil for good, to the sorrow of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled myself with fasting, and my prayer would return to my own heart. I placed about as though he were my friend or brother. I bowed down heavily as one who mourns for his mother. But in my adversity, they rejoiced and gathered together. Attackers gathered against me and I did not know it. They tore at me and did not cease. My God, some of you have gone through this experience where attackers gathered you, people gathered around you, not only to, uh, it's not just because they wanted to uplift you or to encourage you or to help you, no, it is to attack you, to destroy your life. 
and some of you did not know that's why you see it's called a spiritual war it is spiritual some of you don't know actually that you're going through a spiritual war you think that sickness that you have is just something that has just come all of a sudden some of you have been having once the same sickness year to year it does not get better you have tried to take medication but it continues worsening you think it's just something normal no my brother it is no my sister that thing that you're having year after year week after week it is not normal it is spiritual you have to watch you have to wake up you have to be on guard brothers and sisters they have attacked you and you don't know about you about it some of you, you don't know even your, who your enemies are and god wants you to know them god has been speaking the scripture says they tore at me and did not cease these are wild people evil diabolic have you have you seen uh, some of you have, you have you taken note of how wild animals act where when they attack something they do not cease until even when it's dead they continue consuming it some of your enemies that's what they are doing even when you're not fighting back they continue attacking heavily that's why some of you have gone through heavy spiritual attack they reward you evil for good and the scripture says in verse 13 but as for me when they were sick my clothing was sackcloth i humbled myself with fasting and my prayer would return to my own heart i placed about as though he were my friend or brother some of you when your enemies were going when, you, when people were going through uh, a difficult time you prayed for them you even helped them but when you are going through the same uh, attack these are the same people that are gossiping about you the same people that are talking evil about you but i want to encourage you that god will fight for you that god has not left you that god is with you brothers and sisters this is a word to encourage you that god has not forgotten about you and god will fight for you god will comfort you god will bring you out of that problem until next time shalom